Now let's investigate which diseases and functions are significantly associated with the MEF2C network, either MEF2C or its targets, and discover how the genes in the network might causally impact those endpoints. Click on the Build button in the toolbar above the network, select Grow from the drop-down menu, and then click on the Diseases and Functions tab in the panel that appears. IPA will pause while it calculates the right-tailed Fisher's exact test enrichment across tens of thousands of functional annotations potentially associated with those genes. Now you get a table that lists diseases or functions and associated p-values, and you can add one or more of them to the network to connect to its associated genes, and visualize how the network is predicted to causally impact it. Select functions such as arrhythmia, cardiogenesis, contraction of heart, and heart rate, and add them to the network. Hold the command key down on Mac or control key on Windows to select multiple terms, then add them to the network. IPA automatically makes a prediction that all four of the functions are likely increasing in the cardiomyocyte dataset as indicated by their orange coloring.